Good morning, students. Welcome to another week of Connected Learning. Thank you for watching the video, and I want you to make sure that you're checking on your friends to make sure they're watching the video because we're doing new material this week. We are working on symmetry today and tomorrow. And as you can see, I'm on location. This is super sad for me though because there are no students to teach to. So it is a very quiet classroom today. I want you to take a look on page 473 in your Go Math Volume 2. I want us to read quickly the paragraph of what line symmetry is and then we're going to look at a few examples. One type of symmetry found in geometric figures is line symmetry. This sign is in the hills above Hollywood, California. Do the letters in the Hollywood sign show line symmetry? A figure has line symmetry if it can be folded about a line so that its two parts match exactly. Not close to it, but perfectly. A fold line or line of symmetry divides a figure into two parts that are the same size and shape. Okay, look over here on the side of your book and it talks about lines. Now make sure you understand again if your teachers have taught you this in the past. Vertical, horizontal, and diagonal. Okay, so I want you to practice that if you don't know what I'm talking about when I talk about vertical, horizontal, diagonal. Okay, so let's look at the Hollywood sign. The H I could fold it vertically and horizontally. The O, the same thing, horizontal and vertical. The L, well the L has this little line right here and this side doesn't. And then if I fold it this way, he doesn't have a line right there either. So the L's are known. Y, I have one vertical line of symmetry. The W I can fold in half, but I cannot fold it horizontally. We already said the O's have two. And the D has one horizontal line of symmetry. Now, the activity with the light bulb shows you that you could take paper, you can make any shape or any letter, and you can practice folding it in half to see if it has lines of symmetry. So they suggest a W that is really hard to draw and cut out. You might want to think of something a little bit easier to do. But if you have time, I do want you to trace something at your house and see if it has a line of symmetry. Turning to page 474, I want you to look at the L. Okay? It says use pattern blocks. Of course, you're not going to have pattern blocks at home. It says trace this letter, cut it out. Well, they've given us squares and done it for us. They're showing you how the L is not going to match, okay? Even if we fold it horizontal, vertical, or diagonal, the L is never gonna match up. So it is not a letter that has a line of symmetry. Looking down here at these four examples, okay? Write yes or no. Look at the rectangle. Interesting thing is when you fold a rectangle, it is not going to match up. Okay, I have a piece of paper over here. This rectangle, I want you to watch what happens when I fold this rectangle. When I fold it, it has flaps on both ends that stick out, okay? So you're probably thinking of a shape right now that is perfect. All the sides are equal. That would be your square, would have lines of symmetry. So rectangle would be a no. The rhombus, does that look like it has a line of symmetry vertically? Yes. The smiley face, now it gets tricky when you're looking at shapes that actually have lines inside of them. You have to make sure both eyeballs match and both sides of the smile are the same length. Yes, these would fold vertically. Look at the triangle. Now, where they put the line of symmetry is not a line of symmetry. That is a no. If we 
if they would have drawn the line vertically, we could have folded it in half and made a line of symmetry. Okay, I want you to quickly look at the next page 475. This one I'm going to let you do on your own so we can save a little bit of time. This one is one of the kids every year they love this page because you get to finish the shape. So you get to count squares. So I'll do the first one for you. One, two, two and a half. One, two. Then you cut across it. Then you go down. Then you go down and you're kind of cutting across diagonal and you try to match it up, okay? Do the best you can. Some of these are a little difficult. Number seven, a lot of kids say, what's the line of symmetry? Well, you can draw the line of symmetry as long as it's on that line, however you want, okay? It's folded right here. One, two, three. One, two, three. And then you would pull across, okay? So I'll help you out with that one too. Number nine, it says which figure has correctly drawn a line of symmetry? Okay, so you can tell anytime they have these little sharp corners and the other part of the shape does not, it is not gonna be a line of symmetry. So we know A is not it. We look at B and it's got several sharp corners on this side, but not on this side, so that's a no. We look at C, oh, he has a corner and he has a corner. That's a possibility. And then I look at this, looks like kind of a chapter book opened up, but this side is way bigger than this side. So we would know it has to be C. If you don't want to fill in the A through D today, guess what? I'm not going to make you. All right, let's look at 476. And this is going to kind of test you to see if you kind of understand the lines of symmetry. So if you want to pause the video right here, that would be a great place. And then I'm going to go on and give the answers, but you can try it yourself first. A, it says which figure does the blue line appear not, okay, circle your not three times, to be a line of symmetry. Obviously, the square has one, the circle has one. Oh, parallelograms, do they have a line of symmetry? No, they do not. And the triangle vertically does, so it is B does not. Let me tell you something about the circle. The circle is the shape, if I could draw one a little better, that has an infinite amount of lines of symmetry. So every year the kids like this too. They love saying, when I ask the question, how many lines of symmetry does a circle have? An infinity amount, okay? So if you were to fold a circle, every time that you fold the circle, since it's round, it would have a line of symmetry, okay? So we could go on and on and on. The square I want you to look at too. A square has four lines of symmetry. And you're going to start noticing that any shape that has the same equal sides is gonna have that many lines of symmetry. We're gonna get into that a little bit later. All right, looking at 11, Casey is using foam stickers in different shapes to make a design. In which figure does the blue line appear to be a line of symmetry? So this time we're looking for the line of symmetry. Okay, so if the heart would have been here, then it would have had the line, but it doesn't. B, Oh, looks like it could be. The line on the pentagon is too far over, and the arrow, they drew it in the wrong place. They should have put it vertically. So it definitely is B. Okay, number 12, Riley is making a pattern using trapezoids. 
Okay, what is a trapezoid again? It has one pair of parallel lines. Okay, so remember those little songs that we learned before you got out of school. All right, so it says which appears to be. Well, if we fold it this way, this side's too short. If we fold it this way, both of the corners are on the same ends. That just cuts right, just cuts a sliver off. And this one makes two unequal triangles. So that's not it. It has to be B. Number 13, which best describes the line of symmetry for an M? So I want you to take your pen or marker, or whatever you have, and I want you to practice lines of symmetry. I cannot fold the M in half horizontally. So then I'll try vertically. I can fold it vertically. Let's see about diagonally. No, that's not gonna work. So definitely C, vertical, is going to be the choice that you would pick. Now, on this side, it gives you lots of practice. I also would like you to pause right here so that you can try this on your own before I get into telling you the answers. So, try to push pause, and then I'm gonna continue. It says, is the line of is the line a line of symmetry, yes or no? This, if I fold it, is a yes. Number two is a yes. Number three, the way they cut the triangle right there is a no, but the heart is a yes. Number five and six are another complete the drawings. I'm gonna let you do those on your own. Let's look quickly at the back. Again, go ahead and push pause so you can try these yourself. Number seven, in which figure does the blue line appear to be a line of symmetry? Well, this side does not have the arrow, so that's a no. This side is too skinny, this is wider, no. Ah, the circle we know has an infinite amount. And the moon, they did not split it in the middle. They could have split it this way. So it is C. Number eight, which of the letters has a line of symmetry? Well, let's try them out. C, oh, the only one it does is horizontal. You're gonna have to try all different ways. F, no, no, no. J, no, no, no. And the P, no, no, no. So it is definitely C has one horizontal line of symmetry. Number nine. Nora is making a star shape in which, a, in which star does the blue line appear to have a line of symmetry. So every year if you were here, I would get you on a big board and I have stars cut out. And if you have a star that is a perfect uh, length on every side, you are actually going to have one, two, three, four, five lines of symmetry. Now, if I could draw a little better, it would look a little better. They should all come in the middle of the vertex. So, looking at the star, if you notice, I had to cut through the center to make it a line of symmetry. So, the only star that cuts through the center is B. All right, it says, which best describes the symmetry of the letter I? Can I go vertically? Yes, I can. Can I go horizontally? Yes, I can. Can I go diagonally? No. So it would be vertical and horizontal, which is C. All right, let's look at the next one, number 11. It says, which group of letters has no lines of symmetry? So we have to find the letter group where none of them can divide in half. 
Let's take a look at maybe a group that has a lot of little tails. Let's look at the J. Would the J have a line of symmetry? No, it wouldn't. The G has a tail. Would it have lines of symmetry? No, it wouldn't. The F only has two lines. So it would not have any lines of symmetry. And the Z would not. So B would be your answer choice. Hope you have a great day. I did say we were gonna do the drawing, but I had so few kids turn in their stem and leaf plot scavenger hunts and dot plot scavenger hunts. Everyone that turned it in is going to get a prize. So that is great news. Have a good day.